Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet this crochet flame stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a nice stitch to work. It's similar on both sides, the front and the back. Uh, it creates a fairly so solid fabric and features these fun spike stitches that go down into the color below, giving it a unique and interesting look. So I can't wait to see what you make with this project be sure to let me know down in the comments today for the tutorial i'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook and then i'm going to be working this stitch in three different colors and these are all a 100 percent worsted weight cotton called pima cotton by lion brand links to all these items are in the description of this video as long along with a link direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you again for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe and take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with a new crochet stitch design every single Sunday. Our pattern today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by taking our first color by making a slip knot and by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of six plus two stitches. Today I'm going to chain a total of 26. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working row one with a double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four. Into that fourth chain, work one double crochet. Chain two. Skip the next two stitches and work one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. You're then going to repeat that. Chain two, skip the next two chains, and into each of the next four stitches, work one double crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way across your chain, ending with one double crochet in each of the final two stitches. So I'm here at the end of my row one. I'm going to skip two, work one double crochet in each of the final two stitches, chain one and turn my work. Now for row two, we're going to work a single crochet into each stitch and two single crochets into each chain two space all the way across. In your final stitch of this row, you are going to switch to your color B. And I'll show you how I like to change colors in my project when I come across. So when you come across at the end of row two, you're going to want to switch your final stitches worked into the top of the chain three and you're going to want to switch to your color B. So you're going to insert your hook into the top of your chain three, yarn over and draw up a loop. You can then drop that color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and pull through. And that's all there is to changing color here at the end of the row. Now, depending on your project, you may need to fasten off and weave in your ends after each color change. Otherwise, you can carry your color up the side as you're going to see me do uh, in a few moments. So other than that, chain three in your new color. 
or sorry, chain two with your new color and turn your work. For row three, we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. Next, you're going to work two long double crochets, one long double crochet over each of the next two stitches, working into the skipped stitches down below. So we're going to yarn over and bring our hook over in front of our work into that chain stitch, two rows below, yarn over and draw up our loop to the height of our double crochet, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You're going to do that one more time into the next skipped stitch. If you can get it into your chain. <laughs> there we go. So just make sure that you're pulling up those long double crochet stitches over top. You don't want to bunch your work too much. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip the next two stitches and double crochet into your next stitch. You're now going to repeat. Work one long double crochet over top of each of the next two stitches and into that chain stitch down below. Double crochet into the next stitch, chain two, skip two, and double crochet. Repeat that all the way across. Once you come across at the end of your row three, you have one stitch remaining. You're going to work a half double crochet into that final stitch. For row four, you can chain one and turn your work. You're then going to simply work a single crochet into that first stitch and into each stitch and then two single crochets into each chain two space all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of your row four, you're going to join your color C just as we did before with our color B. This time we are going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and turn our work. For row five, we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip the next two stitches and double crochet into the next. You're then going to work two long double crochet stitches, one over each of the next two stitches and into the stitches of the row below into the skipped stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch and repeat chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next stitch, work one long double crochet over each of the next two stitches. and double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat this all the way across. Now 
when you come across, you'll chain two, skip two, and double crochet into that final stitch. For row six, chain one and turn your work. For row six, just as you did before, single crochet into each stitch and work two single crochets into each cha uh, chain two space all the way across. When you come all the way across, you're going to switch back to your color A. At the end of your row six, you can, if you've left them attached, you're just going to pick up your color A that was left hanging down here. Gently draw it up the side of your work. You don't want to pull it too tight. Again, you don't want it to bunch and then simply pull it through. You're now going to, for the rest of the pattern, repeat rows three, four, five, and six, changing color at the end of each single crochet row. So your row um, three was a chain three, then you're going to single crochet into um, this, uh, double crochet into this first stitch, followed by your long double crochets over the next two stitches and so forth. So repeat rows three, four, five, and six, changing color at the other end of every single crochet row for as long as you would like. Fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's the end of your flame stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.